YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Speedy Recovery DLC Introduction with a quick tip to start us off even before the DLC is out. I've gotten early access to this and I decided to poke around and have come up with some uh, an early strategy to help us out. So one of the new things that they have added to Speedy Recovery is ambulance drivers. Now ambulance drivers go out into the field and go to these emergencies and pick up different patients. They then bring these patients back to us. As you can see this one we have five here, three here, bringing it back to us. Now the interesting thing about ambulance drivers in terms of bringing patients to the hospital, because ultimately once the patients get brought to the hospital you still need to cure them. However, these emergency patients work differently than your regular run-of-the-mill wander into the hospital, go to the receptionist patients. These patients come pre-diagnosed, not fully diagnosed, but pre-diagnosed. This means they get to skip the receptionist and skip the GP's office and go right into additional diagnosis. This is both a good and a bad thing. The good thing is they get to skip the receptionist and the GP's office. And the GP's office, as many of you know, are where tons and tons of lines can form. In fact, they will never visit the GP's office. The downside, however, is that their, di their initial diagnosis is dependent entirely on the skill of the doctor or nurse that went and fetched them. So if we look here at Dr. Jacques here, we have a little bit of extra diagnosis skill and there's also a new skill, driving, which allows them to drive in the first place. So now if we go to click on one of these people here, they have started off with a diagnosis certainty of 50%. So this is essentially a mobile GP's office on wheels. They, they all go there, they all get that, but now you have to diagnose them the rest of the way. The other thing is that they won't go back into the GP's office. Even after they go and get some form of additional diagnosis, they're not going to go back to the GP's office for a recheck. They're just gonna bounce to the next thing of secondary diagnosis diagnostics that you might have. One of the things that you're going to need is you're going to need a lot of secondary diagnostics when you might not, you know, a lot more than you're used to. And then also at the end of the day, you're going to need a way to cure them. So that is the main thing for, for, you know, the differences between them. Now, as far as what we're doing here with our doctor, the skill of the doctor or nurse does actually factor in. So a new type of employee that you want to be working on is somebody with a driving skill as well as a lot of diagnostics because that means they will enter the hospital a lot more pre-diagnosed than the others. So yeah, that's ambulance drivers in a pinch, how they work, and the some of the mix-ups that you're going to have to be doing or change-ups to your hospital design that you're going to have to do to accommodate these emergency patients in addition to the normal flow of regular patients going in. So I hope you found this tip helpful. If you want to see more, I'm going to be streaming tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be diving in to ailing and go straight through it. I'll be answering your questions. We'll be getting a an in-depth look through of this from square one. So I hope to see you there. Until next time, Pinstar out.